بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear students of third year Biopharmaceutics and Pharmacokinetics 2 College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences Ajman University uh, This is our first topic and in our uh, first topic we are going to revise some fundamental uh, mathematics for uh, pharmacokinetics it will be very useful uh, it will make it easier for you to comprehend what we will be talking about uh, in later uh, topics uh, you should be uh, familiar with algebra uh, and uh, graphical presentation of data whether uh, exponential or logarithm uh, you will learn also about uh, the Cartesian graph paper or the linear graph paper or also we call it rectangular graph paper as well as the semi-log graph paper which might be uh, new to you. Uh, we will also try to understand uh, what do we mean or what are the benefits of differential and integrated uh, equations uh, that is in calculus. Uh, you will also learn about the use of spreadsheets. Uh, here I'm talking about using uh, computer software uh, that is Excel. Uh, so uh, bear with me and uh, listen carefully. Uh, in pharmacokinetic, pharmacokinetics, it's very important to be familiar with algebra, calculus, exponential, and logarithm. And there is something else which is important, that is the units. So I want you to focus on uh, the units for each uh, parameter that we talk about, because these units uh, are critical in uh, describing uh, your parameter. Okay? So uh, let us talk about uh, some of the things that you may be familiar with. For example, if I ask you what are the units of concentration? Now, uh, in introduction to pharmacy in your first year, uh, I'm sure that you have been through this. Uh, you learned how to express concentrations in different ways, okay, like percentage, weight per, per volume, etc. So, uh, what is the answer here? What do you think is the answer? طبعاً, an example for uh, the answer, we can say is uh, milligram, one second, we can say milligram per liter, مثلا, or milligram per ml, or gram per liter. طبعا there are other expressions such as the percent W على V and we have W by W etc. But uh, in pharmacokinetics you might use uh, mainly the microgram per ml or milligram per ml. Okay, these are the more common uh, ways or milligram per liter. These are the common thing you use in pharmacokinetics. Now, uh, another question you see here, and that is regarding uh, a given concentration. This given concentration is 50 milligram in 1 ml. This is your solution. Now, the question is, what is the amount of drug which is contained within a 20.5 ml solution? Okay, then what is in 0.4 liters? What volume of the solution will contain 30 milligram? Uh, always uh, try to use your common sense to make sure that your answers are, ish, uh, are uh, as expected. For example, I'll give you an example. It says here, what volume of solution contains 30 milligram? If I know that 50 milligram is in 1 ml, then 30 milligram will be in less than 1 ml. Okay, so I want you to use the common sense. So uh, let us uh, uh, answer these questions. Okay, 
Now, in the beginning, that's what you need to do. Uh, you need to say, okay, we have 50 milligram. That is in 1 ml. You see the volume is in this side. And the amount of the drug is in this side. So it says... How much is there in 20.5 ml? Where do I put the volume? So I put it here. 20.5 ml. So here is X. So you know that. Uh, I'm sure you have taken this. So you multiply 20.5 into 50. And then you divide it by 1 ml. So this is how we do it. We am going to show you the calculator. This is the calculator. And then I will multiply 20.5 multiplied into 50 equal divided by 1. I will have, of course, uh, the same thing. So what is the answer? It shows you the answer is uh, 1,025. Uh, milligram ولا إيش gram ولا what do you think is the answer? Huh? One thousand x equal to one thousand and twenty five ish. What do I write? Okay, see here x x as you see it is in milligram. Okay, so I will write. Uh, milli. One second. Milligram. Okay. Type. Now the other uh, question is. Okay, I'm gonna remove this now. Okay, the other question. This is milligram. The other qu question is how much there in point four liter. So where do I put 0.4 liter here? Yes, but there is a problem. Here we have ml and here we have liter. So what I need to do is to convert liter to ml. You know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml. So 0.4 liter will be equal to H. 0.4 liter is equal to 400 ml. So in this case now I have the uh, uh, the way to solve the question. I will put here 400 ml and here x. In the same way, if I go back to the calculator, I'm going to multiply 400 into 50. And divided by one, and the answer will be ish 20,000 milligram. So, here again, I will write x equal to 20,000 milligram. Type two for the other question. Okay, let me delete uh, these things here. The other question it says is, what volume of the solution will contain 30 milligram? So again, uh, sorry, this is straight line. Okay, where do I put the 30 milligram? I will put it under the milligram. So 30 milligram is in X so what do I do now with the calculator I have to multiply 31 divided by 50 31 طبعا 30 so 30 divided by 50 equal to 0.6 so the answer will be ish X X 
equal 2.6 ml. طبعا here it should be the same units as the ml you see it here and uh, as we expected it is less than 1 ml because there is 50 in 1 ml so 30 will be in less than 1 ml which is 0.6 ml. Type try the second one. Uh, it says in the second one 20 milligram of drug are added to a container of water and result in a concentration of 0.5 milligram per liter. شوفوا هنا liter مش ml. Okay. And this is the unit of concentration as I explained previously. طيب what volume of water was in the container? طيب uh, طبعا we will assume that 20 milligram will not add any volume. يعني the volume of the container will remain the same. ليش طيب why? Because 20 milligram is very small uh, quantity to alter the volume. Okay, so what, how do we solve this one? Okay, what is given? The concentration is 0.55 milligram in a volume of one liter. طيب, شو بنسوي? نحكي طيب معناته ل 20 milligram where in how much? So I will write here 20 milligram is in what volume? Okay. So what you're going to do? You're going to multiply 20 في 1 divided by 0.55. So 20 into 1 is equal to uh, 20 divided by 0.55. And the answer is, as you see it here, 36.36 liter is an high 36.36 liter. طيب, uh, do I need to convert this one? No, the question did not ask me to convert uh, the liter. And anyway, liter would be appropriate to describe the uh, volume of water. So if I want to convert it to ml, it will be 36,000, okay? And I don't need to uh, use that large number, okay? Type. Another question here for the following equation, y equal, type. This kind of equation, we call it uh, a straight line equation, in which y, here, the data of y axis, and 0.5 is the slope, and 2 is the intercept, okay? طيب, uh, it says sketch a plot of the equation. شو يعني sketch a plot? يعني use a graph paper and show me how the straight line will look like. طيب, I will do this for you. I want you to look uh, in the following. I already told you about using the graph paper printer. In this case, we are going to use normally graph paper, which is metric in abscissa and ordinate. And I will use one millimeter so that I get uh, a strong or uh, pr precise uh, lines that will allow me to put my uh, data. Uh, I will configure the printer, printer setup. And I will ask it to do it as Adobe. Okay? And then I will print. I want to see how it looks like. Okay, I will name it as linear graph. Okay, I want to see how it looks like. Okay. okay, I'll try again, print. 
PDF uh, linear graph. Okay. Uh, save. Okay, this is the graph. You see it here. I will save it as a photo so I can uh, use it uh, in uh, Word to explain to you what I'm going to do. Right now it's photo, linear graph. Okay, now here. Okay, this is the graph. As you can see, it's uh, it's too uh, unclear. Okay, in this case, what I can do is I can ask for a five millimeter division. Okay, it's less accurate, but it will do the job okay this is the graph now I will save it as a photo JPG I'll do this again. I'll insert the picture. Okay, it looks uh, better now. Taban, in any graph, you need to write the titles for uh, the y axis and for the x axis, and a title also for the graph, but I will uh, not do that now. Now, let's go back. To the uh, requirement here it says sketch plot uh, of the equation what you need to do actually is just get two points for x plus two points for y okay so if I uh, just assume you can propose any numbers if I assume that x is 0 uh, then half multiplied with 0 is 0 plus 2 so if x is 0 y will be equal to h to 2 right so i'm gonna go here so if x is 0 where is 0 Taban, you have to number these uh, points in the x axis and the points in the y axis so uh, let me do the following if i consider this as 1 this is 1 and this is 2, 1, and one second, let me, 1, and 2, and this is 3, 4, 5, etc. So if this is x is 0, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, okay, for x0, y would be h2, so I have to put this point, so 0 with 2, now I will choose another number such as x2, if I choose x2, then 0. 0.5 into 2 is 1, plus 2 is 3, so in case x is 2 y will be h 3 let's go here so this is 2 okay and 3 for x is here so I have these two points now these two points are enough to uh, draw for example a straight line okay you only need to bring your roller 
and then you can draw a straight line on the uh, passing through the two points. This is how you do the sketch. Okay. Tayyib then uh, it asks other questions such as what happens if x is 0.6? Uh, you can get y two ways. The one way is go to the graph, choose 0.6, and then read y here. The other way is just use the equation. Instead of x, choose 0.6. I will do that. So 0.6x multiplied by 0.5 equal plus 2 and it will give you y 2.3. Type the other question, what happens if your y is 4.1? So what is your x? Then I go to back to the equation. For y, I will use 4.1. Okay, this is unknown. So what will you do? 4.1, you need to get this one. Lihi plus 2, you need to get it to the other side. Fabutsir ish 4.1. 4.1 minus 2 will be equal to 0.5x. So 2.1 equal to 0.5x. Type now you put it here so it will be 2.1 divided by 0.5 and this will give you x 2.1 divided by 0.5 equal to 4.2 is an sure x x is equal to 4.2 unit no because we don't know what are the unit, what are x's and what what are y's are supposed to be so we will leave it okay uh, another uh, thing is it needs you to find x with x it says log x is equal to 0.95 now I want you to remember what you took in the school, okay? For example, log 10 is equal to 1. Log 100 is equal to H, to 2. Type log 1 is equal to 0. صح ولا لا؟ طيب. Uh, here it says 0 0.95. طبعا 0 0.95 is closer to 1, which means X is closer to 10 and that's what i mean by using your common sense okay so how do i solve that okay to solve it i need the anti log to get x how we'll do it see in this uh, calculator if i say if i take uh, this one okay 10 to the power of x uh -huh. طيب. Uh, x here 0.95 حكينا. 0.95 and then you uh, press here it gives you the number 8.9125 okay later we will talk about uh, how many numbers do you need to uh, write uh, whenever there is len or uh, log it's better to to take the three decimals that you have here. Okay, whenever there is log or len. طبعاً later I will talk about the difference between uh, both. So what is the answer? The answer is 8.912. طيب how did I uh, do that? يعني why did I take 0.95 and then uh, put it 10 to the power of 0.95? Why did I do that? Because logarithm, uh, should log, log, usually when nothing is given, just log x, it's actually log with a base of 10. يعني كأنه بحكي 10 to the power of how much? 
اللي هو 0.95 كاني بحكي 10 to the power of 0.95 it's like that ف 10 to the power of uh, 0.95 this is what I did in the calculator عشان هيك مثلا log 10 if you come here log 10 كاني بحكي uh, 10 to the power of how much will give you 10 طيب هون 10 to the power of how much will give you 1 طبعا 10 to the power of 0 will give you 1 طيب 10 to the power of 2 will give you 100 فعشان هيك صارت هنا 2 اوكي طيب e to the power of x now you want x is giving you ايش uh, 0.44 طيب if i take len هلا len okay now let me talk about len len has similar meaning to log they have similar meaning both are logarithm but len is the natural logarithm natural logarithm اما log it's the common logarithm فاذا عندنا natural logarithm will common logarithm they have a relationship in that len x is equal to 2.303 log l x okay now len is very important to us in pharmacokinetic because when you derive the integrated equation from the differential equation you will get exponential term and for this exponential term you can use len okay len is the natural logarithm that you will get طيب anyway now let's go back to here how can I get x see if you take len this side يعني جيت وكتبت len ال e to the power of x what you get is x that's what you get and this is what you need you need to know what is your x So what I need to do is take len this side and for this reason you need you need to take len the other side. So if you take len both sides you will get the answer for x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take len 0.44. شوفوا كيف بدنا نسويها. 0.44 len شوفوا طلعت عندكم ايش؟ نيجاتيف So the answer is x equal to negative negative point eight. طبعاً eight to one. ممكن نحكي eight to one. حكينا بنأخد three decimals whenever we deal with len or log. واضح. طب uh, see here we have something opposite طبعا uh, uh, before I talk about that uh, why did I expect انه it will be negative why it's not positive why it's not zero okay it's common sense see e the value of e is about 2.71828 something like that okay Now, if you take this number to the power of 1, شو بيطلع؟ بيطلع نفس النمبر. You will have the same number. If you take it to the power of 0, what will happen? This will be 1. طب, let's look at the number here. It's less than 1, صح؟ معناته it is less than the power of 0. معناته it will be a negative power. Okay? Type C here, which is uh, something opposite, len x equal to 1.22. So, how do I get the answer? Manato, I need to get the anti len for this number to get x. Anti len. Okay. So, what is the answer? Let's, let's see and try. Okay, so if we say 1.22, okay, and uh, let's do it uh, opposite, 
uh, e to the power of 1.22 okay this is your answer طيب what i did exactly شو يعني لن e كاني بحكي e to the power of what and this what is actually 1.22 فإذا this is x your x your x must be in the form of e to the power of something okay ف that's why I took because I know the answer اللي هو 1.22 يعني معناته e to the power of 1.22 that's what I used here I used e to the power okay of 1.22 and that's what I get شايفين this is the uh, uh, answer طبعا here you can see what is e شوف لو اضغط على e if i press e it's 2.71828 okay etc okay the other uh, question which you have here first let me remove all these things sorry Okay, what does it say? For the following graph, determine C. اللي هو هاي C. صح? هون, but of course, you have log C. He wants you to have C. If X equal to 2, and if X equal to 12. Let's see how we can uh, actually do that. Okay. Now, what happens if X equal to 2? You need to get your a ruler and with your ruler, ruler you need to draw a vertical line one second vertical line when x is equal to uh, 2 and when it's equal to 12 طبعا this is approximate because it's not easy to deal with the uh, monitor with the display okay so you do you take x2 go to the straight line and then go horizontal to read your uh, y-axis same thing here طيب let me suppose the following okay Let's suppose what we read here, okay, is 3.36, hello, and what we read here is uh, 0.12, approximately, okay. طبعاً, whenever we use log number, even if there is unit, the, the, the units will be ish, removed or deleted. Because len or log, any number with units, the units will disappear. Type anyway. Now, when x is 2, what is c? Now, what we have here is not c. What we have is log is c. كأني بحكي ايش? What is c? يعني 10 to the power of 3.6 لأنه الانسر is 0.36 10 to the power of uh, 0.36 will give you C فإذا شو بسوي what do I do باجي هون بحكي 0.36 10 to the power قديش طلع معنا إذا the answer is 2.291 2.291 291. Let's await one, Anna. Why did I write one? See here, zero, but because here we, I have eight, so I made it to the nearest, so it will be ish one. So it goes up, it's more than, it's uh, five and more, so I will have to increase this number by one. 
So this is the answer for the first one. Now for the second one, the answer is in the similar way. So I say 0.12 and then 10x. And the answer here will be 1.3. Let me see it. 1.318. 1.318. Okay, as it uh, looks uh, in the graph, you see that as x increases, y decreases. Okay, as x increases, y decreases. Okay, and this is the answer. Now, I told you the units are important. Uh, in this case, I did not write the units because I don't know what is C and what are the original units of C. So, I cannot make judgment here. Okay, if it is a concentration, it may be milligram per liter or microgram per liter. So, here I will leave it without units. طيب, uh, other things that you need to be aware, اللي هي إيش? Exponents. Exponents meaning uh, to the power. Okay, when you say uh, e to the power of 3 or 10 to the power of 3. This is what we mean by it. When you have a power, then you have exponent. For example, 10 to the power of 3. See, we can convert 1000, uh, which does not have any exponent, to an exponent number, 10 to the power of 3. Uh, also, I want you to know the relationships when you multiply exponents into each other. Okay? For example... We have a, يعني a number to the power of x multiplied by the same number to the power of y. How you deal with this? Because you are multiplying same numbers, so it will be a, and you will have to add this one, x, to the y. For example, 10 to the power of 2 multiplied 10 to the power of 3. We have the same terms here. So I the answer would be 10 to the power of 2 plus 3. طيب. If it is a to the power of x and all to the power of y. In this case, it will be a to the power of x phi y. For example, 10 to the power of 2 all to the power of 3, it will be equal to 10 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3, yani 6, 10 to the power of 6. طيب, a to the power of x divided by a to the power of y. كيف بتصير? شوفي هون. هون I, uh, sorry, here, multiplication, صاروا plus. As in division will be minus. So it will be a to the power of x minus y if this is x. Zay mathan, for example, this uh, example 10 to the power of 2 divided by 10 to the power of 4. But see 10 to the power of 2 minus 4. 2 minus 4, lihi minus 2. Tayeb, 1 to the, uh, divided by a to the power of x. But see here, a to the power of minus x. Okay? Nafs is if a to the power of minus x, it's 1 divided by a to the power of x. Ala sabil mithal, for example, 1 divided by 10 to the power of 2, shubut sir, i goes up and it will be negative. Okay? Taban, uh, there is a reason. Il 1, shu hi il 1. 1 is actually 10 to the power of 0, صح? وهاي, if we say, مثلا, uh, 10 to the power of x, بصير 10 to the power of 0, minus x, فبصير minus x, هي minus 2. طيب, uh, the root, the y root of a, okay, will be equal to a to the power of 1 by why? Yani for example, I'll give you example. If you want to get the uh, square root of 
9 شو السكوير روت اوف 9 3 صح طيب شو كيف بكتبها سكوير روت اوف 9 اي كان رايت 9 اوكي تو ذا باور اوف 0.5 اللي هي 1 على 2 بيكوز سكوير روت اوكي سو ات ويل بي 9 تو ذا باور اوف 0.5 اوكي ذيس از ان اكزامبل ذا كيوبيك روت اوف a از ايكوال تو 8 تو ذا باور اوف 1 باي 3 طيب اي اولسو وونت يو تو نو ذا فولوينج Okay, uh, this is uh, regarding logarithm, but it can be applied even to len in the same way. Show for 10 to the power of 3, اللي هي 1000. If I want to take its logarithm, it will be 3. ليش 3؟ لأنه 10 to the power of 3 is 1000. طيب log 100 is 2 because 10 to the power of 2 is 100. طيب log 10 is 1. ليش؟ لأنه 10 to the power of 1 is 10 طيب log 1 is 0 صح؟ why? because 10 to the power of 0 is 1 طيب log 0.1 is negative 1 why? because 10 to the power of negative 1 will be equal to 0.1 and in the same way what I need you to see here which is very very important okay? that when you take the logarithm and you look at the numbers, resulting numbers here, you will see that the difference between 2 and 3 is 1, 1 and 2 is 1, 0 and 1 is 1, minus 1 and 0 is 1. So here we have the same differences, okay? The differences is the same. But when we look at the numbers here, for example 1, and you look at this one, طبعا the difference is 1, right? But when you look at the numbers here, you see that 10 is 10 times 1. Okay? Is a difference of 1 because the original number is 10 times. Okay? Type C also here. 2 and 1, the difference is 1 when you take logarithm. But if you look at this number, it's 10 times this one. نفس الشيء look the difference between 3 and 2 is 1 but 1000 is 10 times the 100 this is very important later when we talk about logarithmic cycles okay see here what's the relationship between 1 and 0.1 1 is 10 times 0.1 but the difference here is 1 0 minus minus 1 is 1 the difference okay نفس الشيء this is 10 times 0.01 but the difference is 1 and so on so this is very important when we learn about uh, logarithmic or semi logarithmic graph okay طيب uh, what are the laws of logarithm which also applies to not only log which has a base of 10 but also applies for len. Hakena, we already talked about the relationship between log and len. Shofu, if you have log a number multiplied by another number, you can write it as log the number plus log the other number. Ow. Or if you have log number plus log another number, then you can write it as log A, V, B, okay? طيب, in the same way, uh, log A divided by B can be written as log A minus log B. واضح? Okay. شوفوا هون. Log A to the power of X can be written as X في log ال A. يعني شوفوا ال uh, exponent here goes ايش? Here. So x في log ال a. Okay, minus log ال a divided by b. كأني بحكي عليها. Will be equal to plus log ال a على b. Is that correct? No, actually there is a mistake here. It should be equal to log ال b على a. So here we have a mistake. It should be equal ايش? To log ال b على a. I have to uh, reverse. The division. Okay. 
Okay. This is len. Len is the natural logarithm. Len is the natural logarithm. If you take len l e, l e is the base of the natural logarithm. L -E, as I said previously, 2.718. So if I say len l e, شو راح يكون? Equal to 1. ليش? Why? Because e to the power of 1 will be equal to e. طيب, here I have len e to the power of minus x. How do I write it? Okay, go back here. Okay. شوفوا هاي. Log a to the power of x is equal to x في log a. Then what do I do with this one? You have to take this minus x, put it outside. فبصير ايش عنا? Minus x في len e. Minus x في len e. But len e is 1. فبصير 1 في minus x. معروف. For example, len e is 1. And log 10 is 1. Okay, this is not. Okay, try this one. What is log 10 to the power of minus 2? بتصير minus 2 تطلع هون. Minus 2 في log 10. طب my log 10 قديش 1 فبصير minus 2 في 1 it's minus 2 okay okay with calculator you can find the log of 35 again you have to use your common sense I can tell you that the number the answer for log 35 is between 1 and 2 I can say that directly why if we go back here شوفوا log 10 is 1 and log 100 is 2 and 35 comes between 10 and 100 so it will be between 1 and 2 and with calculator you can go to the calculator okay I can write 35 and then log and this is the answer as I told you you will take the first uh, the, the three decimals. So I write 1.544. Okay. Now what does it mean 1.544? If you take 30, 30 uh, sorry, if you take 10 to the power of this one, 1.544, it will give you 35. This is what it means. Okay, we'll go to uh, uh, another calculation what is e to the power of minus 1.3 uh, depending on your calculator high e okay 2.718 you don't need to memorize it of course but it will be useful for you to uh, know it yeah type to the power higher uh, to the power of 1 Point three negative, and this will be equal to point two seven. Shufu, the number is less than one, which means uh, what does it mean? No, e to the power of minus. Whenever it's minus, it will be ish in uh, less than one. The answer. Okay, the answer will be less than one. When it is bil minus. Say for example, 10 to the power of 0 is 1. But 10 to the power of minus number, it will be less than ish 1. Okay, so what is the answer for this one? It's, I can write it as 0.27, should tell it 3. Why 3? Because here I can see 5. So it will be 0.273. Okay, uh, 0 0.27, 25, I can write it as 3. Okay, let, uh, this is a, a nice example, okay, that you need to find the solution for. But what do you need to find? You, might, you need to find the value of k. What is k in this case? طيب, how can you answer it? 
طبعا the first thing you do is divide take 50 put it this side so it will be 25 divided by 50 then it will be equal to e to the power of minus 4k what it? طبعا 25 divided by 50 it's half a 1 by 2 okay it's half so half will be equal to e os minus 4k شوفوا if I take len this side what will happen to this one hey, len e to the power of minus 4k شو بتصير حكينا ال minus 4k بروح هين ولن ال e واحد فبصير عنا الجواب what we will have is minus 4k when I took this the len of this side so I have to take the len of this side which will be equal to minus 0.693 we'll do it in the calculator طبعا 0.5 and then len شوفوا كيف point minus point six nine three طيب of course minus goes with minus and then صير عنا four k equal to point six nine three now uh, I can get k k بتكون إيش point six nine three divided by four and it's equal to so the answer is point one seven four point one sorry seven four now what is the unit Okay, we cannot say now what is the unit unless we know what k that we are talking about. Later, you will know that it can be uh, hour to the power of minus 1. But this is for later. Okay? Time. Uh, this is uh, the answer. 1.73. I, I put it as 4 because ish. Let me see. Uh, okay, it has to be 3. Why? Because the number here is 2. Uh, if, uh, there is a mistake. Okay. So I will use 3 here. Okay. So be careful. Tayyip, Shufu Hai, this will be a, a common equation that you will see in your pharmacokinetic. Hai equation, we call it an exponential equation. Why we call it exponential? Lano fi inna hon exponent. Yani fi inna hon power. Okay? Now zero here is not power. It's uh, just to indicate the time. So let me uh, go through this equation. In this equation, it says the concentration in the plasma. The con C is the concentration, P is the plasma. And the concentration of the drug in the plasma, okay, will be equal to the concentration of the drug at zero time in the plasma at zero time. Yani what is the concentration at zero time? Multiplied phi e os minus e to the power of minus k l phi t. T on a time. Will k l later you will know that we call it. Uh, elimination rate constant okay For this equation is a mono exponential equation and one term that has exponent okay for example uh, uh, you can have this equation cp the concentration of the drug at any time is equal to 35 should 35 concentration at zero time who cp zero Oh, we call it also the initial concentration. Uh, concentration at zero time or initial concentration. Multiplied phi e is minus to the power of minus point 
0.15 اللي هي بدل ال K يعني ال K will be equal to 0.15 لأنه هنا minus minus ال K 0.15 then multiplied في time طيب شوفوا وين شو بحكي لكم It tells you find the concentration at time two hours or two. خلينا نحكي بدلش نحكي two hours at two at t equal to two. So how you do that? It's very simple. First, calculate this one. And in order to calculate it, first calculate minus point one five multiplied by two. طيب addition minus 0.15 multiplied by 2 you will get ish 0.3 يعني اضربوا 0.15 multiplied حكاكم هنا t is 2 and this will give you 0.3 طيب now get e to the power of minus 0.3 لانه عنا negative هون okay so You go to your calculator. Hey, L E to the power of 0.3 by minus, and this is the answer. Okay, so C P will be equal to 35 multiplied by the موجود في الكالكوليتر which is 0.741 هاي ليش 1 خليناها لانه this is 8 more than 5 so multiplied into 0.741 okay let me go to the calculator this number multiplied into 35 and this is the answer so the answer is 20 قديش حكينا how much 25.9 Uh, or 29 25.929 25.929 طبعا in order it's concentration but I don't know what's the units they are using so it has to have a unit but I'm not uh, uh, or we were not given what is the original unit of concentration يعني if I know the uh, units of the 35 then I will be able to give you the unit of Uh, concentration here. طيب another thing I can convert شوف هاي equation I can convert it to the following uh, if I take len both sides len this side and len this side شو بصير عنا len cp هذا هو هذا side okay طيب تساوي len شوفوا هان شو مكتوب CP at time zero or initial concentration في E أوس ماينس K في T right طيب uh, what do you do when you have len something multiplied by something else شوف شو بصير بصير len CP from this side will be equal to len CP zero uh, زائد because multiplication len ال e to the power of minus k في t شايفين كيف؟ اوكي now this one you can write it as len cp equal to len cp zero طيب زائد len ال e to the power of minus k في t هاي وين بتروح؟ بتروح هون بصير زائد ناقص زائد ناقص يعني minus k في t شايفين كيف صارت؟ طيب وين راحت لن الاي؟ لن الاي is equal to 1 فخلص بتصير k في t. This is a very important equation اللي هو لن السي بي equal to لن السي بي 0 minus k في t. Let me tell you why this is an important equation. شوفوا في الفارماكينيتيك especially when we start talking about IV bolus administration We have, as I already explained in the lecture, we have time and concentration. صح? And if you remember, I was doing something like a curve. 
Now, the problem with the curve, it's not accurate in uh, giving you or predicting the concentration at any time. For this equation actually resembles or uh, demonstrate a straight line equation. If I take linear concentration at any time as y data, okay, شوفوا linear CP0 هي نقطة. فهذا it's only point, one point. Okay. The time is moving. This is your x. فإذا عنا y وعنا x. So y equal to one point, اللي هو the intercept minus k, اللي هو the slope. This is your slope multiplied by t, which is your x. Actually, anything with x that is variable, that is moving, anything that will be multiplied into x is the slope. You have to know that. The slope is the inclination. We here we consider it as we considered it as uh, intercept because it's a constant initial concentration. There is only one initial concentration. You cannot have in your body uh, at time zero two different concentrations. Just one concentration in the blood in the plasma. So that's why this is your intercept, this is your slope, and this is your x uh, data. And what is your y data? Your, da your y data is linear concentration. And what is this equation? This is a straight line equation. Which means if I go to a graph paper and I take linear concentration with time, I will get a straight line. This is what it means. Okay? Tablation a curve because in concentration, I did not take linear concentration. I took the concentration as it is. And if you can end up there was a decay or there was uh, a decrease in the concentration. We call it mono exponential decrease in the concentration, which will give me a curve. But in the data, if I convert the concentration to linear concentration and I put it with time, then I will get ish, a straight line in the graph paper. Okay? Uh, okay, let me uh, briefly talk about uh, differential equations and integrated equation. Uh, it's very important for you to understand and memorize the differential equation. Why? Because differential equation is based on understanding, understanding the process, the concept. Integrated equation, although they are the ones that we usually use to answer questions, are uh, they do not uh, directly explain the process. Plus, uh, in the exams, you will have them. You don't need to memorize them. You will have them. Uh, but uh, what you need to do is pick up the right uh, equation. Okay? Is a differential equation describes the process. And you need to understand the process. If you understand the process, you will be able to write the differential equation by yourself. Now, I will explain to you what is the difference between differential equation and integrated equation. Suppose uh, you are driving a car, okay, you are going to Abu Dhabi, okay, you are moving by car from Ajman to Abu Dhabi. Now, how you are moving? You are moving by a car. Now, in this process, what you are going to do, you are going to put the gear into drive position, and then you will accelerate, and in the way you will stop uh, if there is a speed breaker uh, or humps, and if there is roundabout, you will also slow down, you will increase your speed at highway, phase, and there, there is a process. This process is controlled by the road. The road status. 
يعني whether it's uh, uh, heavy uh, traffic or light traffic uh, if there is something in the way so what controls your overall movements اللي هي uh, the car you drive okay and the road status will control how you drive and how fast you drive now we call these things as differential differential معناته the small process a uh, small process that all together will control the time you need to reach Abu Dhabi the distance you travel at any time صح ولا لا okay the differential equation is important i need to understand what is happening why is it happening like that okay in order to be able to predict مثلا from ajman how long uh, or uh, how fast you will reach dubai how long will it take to reach dubai how long will it take to reach abu dhabi what is the distance to abu dhabi صح ولا لا اذا Differential calculus are equations that describe the process, what is happening in the process, okay? Well, that is important because at the end it will control the overall, uh, the overall description of when you're going to reach Abu Dhabi, how fast will you reach Abu Dhabi, صح ولا لا? Okay, these small things, we call them differential. طيب بالفارماكوكينتكس uh, we need to describe for example uh, how the concentration decreases in the body يعني what is controlling the decrease in the concentration in the body صح if we know what is controlling the decrease then I will be able to know for example when I will reach a certain concentration when will the drug be removed from the body مثلا when am I, am I, I am going to reach the require, uh, a certain required therapeutic concentration. Okay, so this is the difference between differential and integrated. Integrated, as I told you, is important because ish, it allows me to know the overall thing. As I told you, what is the overall thing? As I told you, the overall thing is allowing me to know, for example, when will I reach a concentration of 2 microgram per ml. طيب, should differential, differential tells me the small processes that will lead to the 2 microgram per ml. Okay, for then it's very important to know the process, load differential uh, equations. You need uh, to understand them. If you understand them, Definitely you'll be able to write them. يعني you do not need to memorize them if you understand the process. Because if you understand the process, you can write them yourself. أما ال integrated equation or calculus اللي هي allows me to calculate the concentration at any time. Or it allows me to calculate what time is needed to reach a certain concentration. It's very similar to the uh, example I gave you about driving a car. Okay, in driving a car, you do, you do not maintain a constant speed. No, there are different, يعني the speed keeps changing because of the road status. Okay, now it is similar to what is happening here. Okay, now we will talk more about the graphs and axes. The, the graph axis okay طبعا we have x axis and we have the y axis the x axis they call it abscissa we the y axis they call it the ordinate when I want to plot the data for the graphs usually it's conventional thing to do to put the independent variables when in the independent في الـ x axis. أما الـ dependent variables فهي في usually we put it in the y axis. This is the x axis, this is the y axis. طيب in pharmacokinetics, what did I tell you? I told you that 
you imagine pharmacokinetics as a graph showing you the relationship between time and concentration. طيب وين التايم راح يكون؟ is it dependent or independent? The time will be independent. إذا هنا here we are going to use the time. For concentration we are going to use y axis. Therefore the time is independent variable. It moves. It depends on nothing. It keeps moving. But concentration keeps changing depending on the time. Okay. So this. So we agreed that uh, the x-axis will have uh, the independent variables. In this case, in pharmacokinetics, it's time, and the dependent variable uh, in pharmacokinetics it will be the concentration. Now let's look at the uh, uh, graph here with two axes. You have the x-axis and y-axis. You will notice that both starts with zero. And there is equal distance between 1, 0 to 1, to 2, to 3. If you have equal distances, and the same case here between 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all they have equal distances. And we call such graph Cartesian, linear, or rectangular coordinate graph. So you need to recognize such graph and to differentiate this graph from the similar graph paper. So let's uh, go and see similar graph paper. In similar graph paper, if you look at the x-axis, you will see that it starts from 0, 1, equal distances. There is no difference between this and the previous graph. So you have equal distances. Everything is normal. But once you look into the y-axis, you will find that it doesn't start with zero. It starts with, in this case, one. It can start with also 10. It can start, start with 0 0.01, etc. But it can never start with two or three or four because the similar graph paper is designed so that it can start only with such number, and I will tell you why. You will also notice that the, the distance between one and 10 times 1, which is 10, oh, okay, is equal to the distance between 10 and 10 times the 10, which is 100. So th the distance between 1 and 10 is equal to the distance between 10 and 100. Now, 1 to 10, we call it one cycle. 10 to 100, we call it also another one cycle. So in this case, you have two cycles. So this axis, we call it logarithmic axis with two cycles. What are these two cycles? 1 to 10, 10 to 100. It can be, for example, uh, 0.1. I'll show you. It can be 0.1. Okay. And here, 10 times 0.1 is 1. And from 1 to... 10. Also here you have a logarithmic axis with two cycles. These two cycles are from 0.1 to 1 and 1 to 10. Well, it's up to us and up to the given uh, data where you choose where you start from. But you cannot start from 0.2 or 0.3 or 0.4 or 6, 7. You can't start with such number. You have to start with this uh, number. Now I will tell you why. Uh, let me first remove these things and then you will know why we are doing that. Now is there log zero? If I want to start with zero, I said you cannot. Why? Because if you take log zero, zero, log, you have invalid input. You cannot start with that. Okay? But Take, for example, one log. So the log of one is what? So this is one. This is one. 
and log of 1 is equal to 0, right? Now take this one, this is 10. Log of 10 is equal to 1, right? Look at this one, log 100 is equal to 2. Now we should understand why the distance between 1 and 10 is equal to the distance between 10 and 100. It's because this is a logarithmic axis, which means it only changes the position of the number. It keeps the number as they are, but the, it changes the position of the number so that if you are using logarithmic, yani if you use the logarithm of the number, their position will be similar. Phase and the position are similar, but you are using ish, the real number of given data, which means instead of converting your data, which is usually the concentration, CP, Instead of converting your CP to log or len CP to use your data, instead of that, you can use the actual concentration data, okay, and leave it to access to modify its position. So you are using the real number, but the axis is logarithmic. That's why uh, it will change its position. Tayyip, in this example, what you see here, we have two cycles because this is one cycle okay and this is another cycle so that's why I, can i start with two i cannot start with two because the distances will be different which i mean the graphs that are given to you and the graphs that you see in practice are made in such a way that you only can start with such numbers that you see here Okay, you can start with point 1. You can start with point zero 0.01. You can start with point zero zero 0.001. You can start with 10. You can start with 100. You can start with 1000. But you cannot start with 200, for example. Okay, so you need to bear that uh, in your mind. Is then what you have seen here is what we call semi-log paper. Why we call it semi? Semi is because one of the axes only is logarithmic. The other one is linear or normal. That's why we call it semi. Otherwise, we would have called it log-log graph paper or logarithmic graph paper, not semi-log graph paper. Isn't in this case, we have two cycles. Semilog graph paper. That's what we have here. Okay. Okay, look, look at the data you have here. You have time. This is the unit, which is hour. And this is the concentration. And the concentration here is given as milligram per liter. Okay. Tabaan, this graph represents an IV bolus injection. Yani, which means that you have taken an injection and you injected that into the patient uh, veins. So at time zero, you have all of the drug and following that, you will start to have a decrease in drug concentration. Of course, this one also represents a one compartment model, but I will talk about this concept later. You will see that the decrease in concentration is a mono exponential decrease mono exponential decrease which means it's not a straight line decrease but a curve and the reason for that is what i explained previously to you the equation that controls this one is the concentration of the drug at any time is equal to cp0 phi to the power of minus KEL phi T. Okay? Now, this, uh, this equation does not look like straight line equation. If we want to have it as a straight line, it is possible. I can get this curve, the curve that you see here, as a straight line. If I take ln CP 
equal to len CP0 minus K في T. In this case, your Y data must be taken as linear concentration and not the concentration as you see here. Okay? And your x-axis will be time. Uh, your intercept in this case will be linear CP0. Your slope will be minus K. So if we do that, this is what you will get. Now, I want you to notice that now here you have linear concentration. Isn't the data that are given here are the same as here, except that instead of using the concentration as they are, we have used linear concentration. Is this a normal graph paper? Yes, because the distance between 0 to 2 is equal to the distance between 2 to 4, 4 to 6. Also, if you go to y-axis, the distance between 0 to 0.5 is the same as 0.5 to 1, is the same as 1 to 1 and a half. So the distances are normal, whether in y-axis or x-axis. The only thing that I have done is I have converted the concentration to linear concentration, and you will notice that here we don't have units. Because I already explained this earlier, if you take the logarithm or the natural log uh, logarithm or the common logarithm of a number, whatever units are there, uh, they disappear. So you don't have any units. Taban, to do this, it involves a conversion of all data that you get with time. All the data you get for concentration with time you need to convert the concentration to linear concentration. Okay? طيب, this, is, this can be uh, uh, less useful in the case, for example, I ask you, okay, what is the concentration at two hours? Then you will go, you will say, okay, this is two hours. Then you go here and then you read the concentration. But what you read here is not concentration. What you read here is linear concentration. There is a bit of inconvenience, let's say. How? One, you cannot directly get the concentration by number one. You need first to get this number and then take antilin in order to get the concentration. By number two, uh, before I... I am able to you to plot these data. First, I need to convert the concentration to linear concentration in order to do this plot, okay, where I put the data points and then I draw the best fitting straight line. That's why the similar graph paper comes very handy, okay? In similar graph paper, you see here, I'm using the concentration, the original data with the original units, Okay, and I get the same straight line. Yani I'm having, for example, let's say I want to know the concentration at two hours. I can do like this, go to two hours. Okay, and from two hours, I can read directly the concentration. In this case, see here, 10, and here is 20. This one is 30, it's below 30. So it could be, let's say, 27 or something like that. So, which one is more useful and faster? You will see that similar graph paper is much easier to handle uh, and to visualize what is happening compared to the normal graph paper when I use the data. Okay, so this is the use of similar graph paper. The use of similar graph paper is to facilitate the age the plotting of the data and reading the line that you get. Okay, this is the job of the similar graph paper. But let me ask you why, even though I am using the same concentration, the normal concentration, okay, now I am getting straight line, as you see it here, similar to this case, okay, it's similar, okay, why I'm getting a straight line? The reason is 
this axis is logarithmic. So instead of changing the concentration to linear concentration or log L concentration, uh, instead of doing that, the axis will change the position of the data point. Okay, it will change it in such a way that their position is the logarithmic position. But the number is the actual number. The number are actual. The position has changed to logarithmic position. Okay, this is the idea. And you see here we can keep the unit for uh, y axis as it is. Okay. Now I want you to learn about uh, a very important thing, which is when you plot the data in similar graph paper, or after transforming the concentration to linear concentration, whatever choice you use, you need to, f to fit a straight line, okay? It's a straight line on the data points. The job of this straight line is to allow you to get the straight line relationship or equation. Let me go back to tell you about the straight line equation, this one. You need to be able to get the straight line equation. Particularly, you need to get the intercept and the slope. Isn't from this straight line, once you draw the best fitting, uh, remember the term, the best fitting straight line, you'll be able to calculate the slope of this straight line and the intercept is an we need to calculate two things from the straight line which is the slope and the other thing is the intercept okay this is why we need to draw the best fitting straight line if two of you draw different uh, fitting lines, then this will cause you to have different intercept and different slope. That's why you need to learn the technique of how to draw the best fitting straight line. Okay. Let's remember the straight line equation. Whatever multiplied by x is the slope. And the constant alone, that is the intercept. And this is the y data. Now, let's suppose you have put or you have fitted your best line, like what you have here. Okay. Suppose you have data here, okay, which you, to which you have fitted the straight line. Okay. And this is your straight line, which fits best the data. You need to calculate, as I said before, the intercept and the slope in order to solve your equation. Because if you are able to solve the intercept and the slope, then for any given x, which is time, in our case, you can get the concentration. Not only that, for any given concentration, you know what time you will reach it. Okay? That's why we need to solve the slope problem and the intercept. Taib, how do you calculate the slope? Slope is calculated as delta y by delta x or y2, remember, uh, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Remember, you, you cannot say, okay, y1 minus one, uh, y2 or x1 minus x2. You have to be, or you have to put it in order. So it's y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So here, m, because you see here that as x, as x increases, y also increases. That's why if you take y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, the answer will be positive, more than zero. Okay? Let's say you take this. Sorry, first you start with y. So let's say you take this 
divide it by this. Then you take this, sorry, the, this minus this, divided by this minus this. Yani x2, this is x2, this is x1, and this is y2, and this is y1. So the answer will be positive. But look at the uh, next case where the answer or the slope is zero. Slope شو يعني inclination يعني ميلان. Here you have positive. You have to drive up the hill. Positive. Here you have zero slope. ما في عندنا ميلان. And the reason is difference is what in y is always zero. The difference is in y is always zero because y is constant. While x increases, y remains the same. So whatever change here, always the difference between y2 and y1 is 0. This case, which we will normally encounter, is where the slope is less than 0, or let's say negative. So as x increases, y decreases. Isan, you will notice the following that x2 is more than x1 but y2 is less than y1 okay which means what it means y2 minus y1 is negative x2 minus x1 is positive so negative divided by positive it's negative that's why your slope will be negative. Is that whenever you see the line going up, it's positive slope. If it is horizontal to x axis, the slope is zero. There is no inclination. If the slope, uh, if the line is going down, then the slope is uh, negative. Uh, let's see uh, the data on similar graph paper. Now, let's say you want to draw here. Uh, a line. Do you do it like this? For example, let's take the last two points. Okay. I will do this here. So let's take the last two points or let's take the first three points. Okay. See, these two lines will give you different slope and different uh, intercept. Or let's do it like this. Okay. Well, the, all of these things are wrong. I'm going to teach you later on how to draw your best uh, line and uh, also how to check whether you have done it correctly or not. Okay. In this case, what you have seen me, you have seen me picking certain points. Picking certain points are wrong. What you have to do is you have to take into account all the data points. Don't say, oh, there are three data points, so there are more than two, so I will choose three data points. That's wrong. You need to take into account all the data points you have here. So let's see what could represent these data points uh, uh, accurately. Should I come behind? What do you think about this? Now we have here a straight line passing through these two data points and here is where you can read your uh, concentration. Now this is wrong. Why? Because I completely ignored these three data points. Okay? Okay, what about this? Also here is wrong. See, now you have here different slope and different intercept. But if you look here carefully, you will see that you have chosen the highest uh, points or the point that will give you uh, the higher uh, line. Okay, above them all. You ignored completely these three data points. 
look at the line here. Well, does this line represent all the data points? Yes. Even if you really concentrate, you will see that the line maybe either crossed one or maybe even it not, did not cross any data point. But the good thing is that this uh, line, which we call it regression line, we call it regression line, the best fitting line, we call it regression line. You will see that this line actually represent all of the data points. It's representative. Okay. Now, how do I do this? Like if you want to do it, how you do it? The vertical distance between the point and the line. Okay. The vertical distance of the data points be below the line, yani what is the distance here in millimeter plus the distance in, here in milli, uh, millimeter and the distance in, in millimeter should be equal to the distance here in millimeter plus the distance here in millimeter. That's vertically. But I don't want you to do this using a ruler because sometimes the data points are thick and the line, the line itself is maybe one millimeter or two, two millimeter thick. So you might not get really accurate uh, distances. So you have to do it visually so that the uh, distance between the data points below the line and the line is equal to the distance between the data points above the line and the line. Okay, the total distance. But as I uh, told you, you don't have to be ish to bring your ruler because you, you may not accurately measure these distances. If you can accurately measure them, then yes, they should be exactly the same. Otherwise, you can rely on your eyes to do that. Because you are relying on your eyes, I can give you a, a margin of error up to 5% when you want to draw your uh, line okay now what about the slope as i told you slope is uh, calculated as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 see this example here they tell you when x is 1 okay this is x y is 3, this is y, is an 1, 3, okay? Type. It tells you that when x is 3, y is 2. First of all, you know that the slope will be negative because it's going down. Yani when x increases, y decreases. So how to calculate the slope? Now here you have the drag in milligrams, so amount. It's not a concentration in this case. And here you have time in hour. So let's do this. Y2 minus Y1. Where is Y2? Is it this one or this one? Y2 is what happens next. Okay? Yani yeah, if you look at X, X determines which one is Y2 and which one is Y1. Now where is X2? This is x2 because it happens after x1. Is an, because this is x2, then this is y2. Is an, here we have y2. Okay, this is y2. So what is y2? y2 is 2 minus y1, which is 3. So 2 minus 3. At this 2 minus 3, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Then divided by x2 is 3 okay minus x1 which is 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 so you say 1 minus 1 sorry divided by 2 which is equal to minus half 
or minus 0.5 or minus 1 by 2. Okay, this is what you get. Now, why we need to uh, get the slope? Because I want you to remember the straight line equation which says y equal to uh, mx plus b. m is the slope and b is the intercept and that's what we need to get from the graph. Once you get them, then for any x you can know y or for any y you can get x. طيب, look here. What is the intercept? Intercept is where the line crosses the y axis. In this case here, صح? crosses the y axis here, which is about three and a half, 3.5 or 3.6. It's not very clear. So the intercept, as you see it here, is 3.5, while the slope is ish minus sayum. The slope is minus half, minus, negative. The slope is negative. Okay. Now, what is the problem? Let's go back to the uh, graph that we uh, looked at previously, such as this graph. Can you determine the intercept and the slope in this graph? You don't have to be accurate because uh, you cannot read the, all the data points correctly. But let's try. Suppose I want to get the slope. Okay. Now, the slope is y2 minus y1. So we can take any two points, two data points. Remember, which is very important. Okay. This is very important. Remember that you have to know that your y-axis is a logarithmic axis and it's not normal axis, okay? So, another thing you need to remember that once you draw the line, after you draw the line, you should forget about the original data points, okay? So, let's take this one. So, I'm not going to this data. Okay, wrong. What I did is I drew the best fitting straight line to represent the whole data, and this minimizes the error. طيب, let me also take uh, another data point. I will take this one to make it easy. Now, can you read this point? Okay, this point x2, this is x2, and this is x1. Okay, can you read uh, x2? x2 is 6, right? Now, y2, let's suppose it is this point. What is this point? See here, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what you read here is 8. Okay, so I have 6 and 8. Can I write 8 here? No, that's wrong. Ah, why it's wrong? I cannot write it. Well, it's wrong because this is a logarithmic axis. So whatever number you read here, in reality, to be on the straight line, it has to be log 8 or ln 8. In pharmacokinetics, we are mainly uh, focusing on ln. Ln equations, our equations that we get, they are based on len. Faizan, this is this data point is len l8. So here I will write len l8. Type. Let's go to this data point, the x1. x1 is 0, right? Type y1. What is y1? Okay, read here. This is 10. So next one is 20. Shufuhen 1. So next one is 2. Hena 10. So you add 10, so it's 20. 30. And before 40, let's say it's uh, 38. For example, it's 38. 
So do I write here 38? No, it's not. I'm looking at the straight line. The straight line will not be straight unless these data are logarithmic. That's why I will delete this 38 and I will use len. So my y1 data is len 38. Len 38. Is in zero with len 38. طيب. Now, let's do the following. Let's first determine the slope. Is it going to be negative or positive in your opinion? طبعا, it will be negative because the line is going down. طيب, what is slope equal to? It's equal to y2 minus y1. What is y2? y2 is len 8. So len 8 minus len y1, which is 38 divided by x2 minus x1. This is x2, which is 6, minus x1, which is 0. Let's see what we get. So, 8 len. Okay, so the answer is... Uh, 2.079 minus 38 len. So I have len 8 minus len 38 equal to, so the answer is minus 1.558. Now this divided by 6 minus 0, yani 6, divided by 6, and it will give you a shall answer minus point. Let me see the number again. 259. So uh, 6 is more than 5. So this becomes 26. Okay. Minus 0.26. Okay. This is the answer. So it's negative. The slope is negative. And it's equal to 0.26. This is the inclination. But what is the intercept? The intercept is what is y when x is 0? What is y? Is it 38 or ln 38? Here again, I'm talking about straight line. This will not be straight line without logarithmic uh, treatment here. So your intercept is equal to ln 38. Okay. Type. How can I write the equation, the straight line equation? Type. This is y, and this is x. I can write it as y equal to. Type. M x. Shul m m x. اللي هو ال x is the x data. و m اللي هو ال slope. So it will be minus point two six. طيب plus b b اللي هو الانترسبت plus len a38 or I can just uh, get the answer for len a38 and in this case it will be point uh, sorry 3.638 3.638 3. 0.638 okay طيب. so I can delete this one and just use this one can use this one here as intercept is that clear طيب شوفوا, uh, uh, look at uh, I'm not sure if it is, it's not the same here Okay, we'll leave it there. Uh, I hope you understood what I was talking about. We will have several examples so you uh, can control the situation, inshallah, very well. طيب, look at this example. Okay, we'll uh, look at it together and we'll do it together. 
In this example, you have now real data. These are real data of time and concentration. And as I already explained before, you need to put it in uh, a similar graph paper in order to get straight line. Type. Uh, at one hour, the concentration is 20, at two hours, 15, four hours, 6.8, and so on. So the concentration is decreasing with time. That's why you expect to have negative slope. If we put this data in similar graph paper, uh, and let me now explain more about similar graph paper. You will see that you have two cycles here. Okay, one to 10. 10 to 100. Now I can choose three cycles. So, but it's better to choose something that fits the data. Now two cycles fit fits uh, the data very well. Why? Look at why. Why starts from 1.3 and it ends at 20. Type starts at 1.3. Now the cycle from 1 to 10 is not sufficient to take all the data because 15 will not be there and 20 will not be there. So I need another cycle that is 100 in order to fit all the y-axis. Is an 1 to 10, 10 to 100 will fit my y data. That's why you will see here that you have two cycles. So when I want to use the graph paper, uh, the similar graph paper, I need to use it as similar graph paper with two cycles. Okay, and I will show you that later. Okay, type regarding the x axis, it's from 1 to 12. Okay, that's why you distribute the data equally to 12. You may add additional uh, numbers uh, if you like. But 1 to 12 should at least cover more than 50% of your x-axis. If it covers less than 50%, it means that you did not utilize your x-axis well. After that, you take uh, this uh, 1, okay? Hi -yo. This is 0, 2, and this is 1. You take 1. And then look at the y-axis where there is 20 and put your data point. Is and this data point here represent what? Represent 1 here and 20 here. Shufo, this is 1. Uh, please pay attention how you read the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So because you started here with 1, you have to add 1 every uh, time. Because the next cycle started with 10, so you have to add 10 uh, uh, every time. Type. So 1 with 20, 2 with 15, and 4 with 6.8 and 8 with 3.2, and 12 with 1.3. So these are the data points. And the best fitting straight line was ish, this one. You will see that uh, it probably only passed through this one. The other data points did not really, pa uh, did not really uh, uh, fit into the line. But the line represented all the data points. So the distance, the vertical distance between the line and the data points below the line is equal to the vertical distance between the data points above the line and the line. Okay? So this is how you represent uh, uh, the best fitting straight line. As I said, the vertical distances should be the same above and below. Also, not only that, there is another thing I did not tell you about, which is these distances must be the smallest possible. Yani for example, I can draw a line like this, okay, and then I tell you the distances here are equal to the distances here. And that is wrong because these distances are huge. 
So even the distances should be as small as possible. Is that clear? Time. Number two, I need to define the straight line equation. Uh, in order for me to do that, I want you to remember first the straight line equation that we are following. Lennel concentration at any time is equal to Lennel initial concentration minus K, or I will add now KEL, Ft. KEL and K are the same. They are referred to as elimination rate constant. So this is your x-axis. This is your uh, slope. Slope. And this is your intercept. And this is your y data. Okay? So how can I define this uh, line? I can define it by calculating the slope and the intercept. Then everything can be solved. Uh, let's try it here again for the second time, just to make you uh, familiar with the similar graph paper. Okay, let's take this 6, x2, 6, and let's say this is your number on y-axis, and we'll also take 0, and this is your number on y-axis. Tayyip. So what is the data point I write here? It will be 6, which is x2. And on y-axis, remember, it's not this number, but it's len this number, because this is a logarithmic axis, while I'm using the real concentrations. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's suppose this is 5. In this case, I will put len L5. Can I put log L5? Yes, I can, but my equation is telling me put len. Ly here len. If I'm going to use len L5. Now here we have H. What is what are the data points? 0 for x1. Okay. And for y2, if we read it here, this is 10, 20. 30, let's say here we have, uh, let's suppose it's uh, 20, uh, 23, for example, okay, let's just suppose it's 23, so I will write len 23, remember that your y is actually len concentration, this is your y, okay, in this case, what will be your slope? And remember that your slope is equal to minus KEL. Uh, your slope is minus KEL. See here, this is the slope. The slope is equal to minus KEL. So what is it equal to? Let's do the math. Y2 minus Y1. What is Y2? It's len L5. Len L5 minus Y1 is len L23 divided by what is x2 minus x1 it's 6 minus 0 of course you may ask me why did you choose 6 why don't you choose 12 actually choosing 12 may be better because the longer the space between the x's the better and i could have chosen a 12 which is better i will not choose something very close to the other point Try always to choose something that is far away. Uh, the second thing, as I told you, always go to the line. Forget about the data points because you made efforts to write the or to draw the best fitting straight line. And that is for a reason, because the straight line minimizes the errors in the data points. OK, hide data points that you have observed, that you have found. OK are not exactly on the straight line. The straight line minimizes the errors. You see here, some points are above the line, some points are below the line. That's why once you draw the line, 
forget about the actual data points. Type. So linl5 minus linl23, 5 len minus 23 len equal, so this is negative, divided by, uh, a dish divided by, 6 minus 0, yani 6, and it's equal to ish minus 0.254 minus 0.254 minus 4 by what is the unit okay now see here you have time as hour and here you have concentration but remember when you take lenal concentration you will no longer have units here so there is no unit here and for x-axis, the unit is hour. So the unit will be ish 1 by hour. Or we usually write it as hour to the power of minus 1. Okay? Tayyip, is an I solved the slope. The slope is equal to minus 0.254. What about the intercept? The intercept is len 23. Okay? Len 23. 23 len okay which is no not this one 23 len okay 3.135 3.135 okay now can I write the equation yes I can write len CP is equal to 3 point how what was the answer 135 type minus 0 0.254 0 0.254 into time because x axis is time so this is your equation now for any time you can calculate the concentration and for any concentration you can calculate the time is that clear? Now, this is another example that I solved with you, which will make it, inshallah, easier in the future for you to do the calculation. Remember that uh, the intercept LU 3.135 has no unit because you took the len of the concentration and not concentration. Uh, the slope in this case is has a unit of uh, hour or time to the power of minus one uh, now someone will tell me why is negative here it's negative because the slope is negative don't forget this the slope is equal to minus kel don't forget about this slope is equal to minus kel uh, let us actually uh, look at the same thing here I want to use it and teach you how uh, to use the Excel for this purpose okay we will use Excel okay so this is time and concentration we are going to do the same and use Excel, okay? Okay, so these are the data. Uh, I will... Uh, Put them in uh, column positions. Okay, so here you have now ish the concentration and uh, the concentration and time. Okay, uh, pay attention to what I'm going to do. I will show you a similar graph paper 
I will show you the equation and then we are going to relate to what we have already done. Uh, we know what equation governs the concentration and time. Lin CP is equal to Lin CP0 minus K alpha T. So I'm going to take this number and then I will go to insert. In the insert, I will choose the scatter type of uh, graphical presentation. Okay. Okay, you will see that you have x axis from 0 to 14 and y axis from 0 to 25. Now you will see that the data points make like a curve. Okay, data points like a curve. This is because the y axis is normal. So what I want to do is I want to make the axis as logarithmic scale. Shift to keeps R. Now you have logarithmic scale. Okay. After that, I will show you how to draw the best fitting straight line. So uh, let me go again. First, click on the data points. Now they are already highlighted here. Right click and then add trend line. Now, when you add trend line, use exponential the reason why we use exponential leash because i want you to remember the equation mono exponential equation which says cp equal to cp0 of e os minus kel fit this is exponential equation okay uh, okay let me go just uh, back a little bit Uh, okay. Okay, I will do it again. Add a trend line. Now here, as I said, I will use exponential. And here, I will ask Excel to display equation, equation on chart. This is very important. Okay. This is the equation. Let me uh, make it uh, a larger font. Okay, this is the equation. Okay, now look at this one. And remember the equation I just wrote for you, which is, let me draw it for you. Okay, CP is equal to CP0 fi e os minus KEL fi T. Okay, E to the power of minus KEL fi T. Okay, what does it tell you? That Y is the concentration and the uh, 22.825 is actually what you will read if you ish. If you extrapolate this line here, you will read 22.825. And that your slope, this is not a straight line equation. It can be straight li line equation if you take len both sides. Yani len this side and len this side. فبصير عنا len ال y equal to len 22.825 okay minus 0.244 في x طيب هلا what is this one this is the intercept and what is this one this is the slope it is very similar to what we have done okay if we go back here Okay, you will see that my equation is len 23, my slope is minus 0.254. This is very close, even though I don't have uh, the scaling here, correct scaling to do it, but I was able to get approximately the right 
uh, equation okay طيب this is one way of doing it the other way if I don't want to use the similar graph paper so I will take this one I want to use normal graph paper in this case my concentration must be ish len l concentration len l concentration len cp so here i will take len this concentration when concentration this concentration uh, okay len len the, this number here Okay, so now I have, I wrote equal to len the, this number. Okay, now I can draw it here like that. Okay, why I'm doing this? I'm going to use normal graph paper now, not the similar graph paper. So uh, let me insert the same thing. Now remember that we will get straight line. Why? Because now we have done the conversion. Yani we, instead of taking the concentration directly, now what we have done here is we converted the concentration to linear concentration. So now I can add the trend line. And now my trend line will be linear. Okay. And I can ask it to display the equation. Okay. Tayyip, I want you to see... Uh, this graph and this graph Shufu. they are very similar they are very similar see two data points above one data point below here two data points above one below and I also I want you to see uh, uh, the slope here see minus 0.2442 Shufu Han Ish Maktub minus 0.244 it's the same. طيب, intercept هون إيش مكتوب? 3.1279. طب هون شو الانترسبت? هو لن 22.825. إذا أخذنا لن البوينت. If I take لن. اللي هو 22.825 لن. بيطلع لنا نفسه صوفي. See here, 3.1279, 3.12785, 3.12785, okay? So I want you to take uh, uh, the Excel always to ensure that you are doing and you are drawing the correct uh, straight line, okay? طبعاً, don't remember that you need a title here. For example, uh, drag concentration versus time curve and don't forget that you need to add titles here you can do that through على design and then access title primary horizontal مثلا here I can write ish time in hour okay we I can add for y axis what do I uh, what do I write here? Concentration or CP? خلينا نحكي CP اللي هي مثلاً بالمايكروغرام per liter or per ml whatever is the uh, given concentration. Okay, so this is how you should uh, work with your graph. Okay, let me uh, discuss something else. Uh, as I have shown you, Excel uses least square methods to calculate the intercept and the slope and to draw the regression line. Yani, the line that you see here, the best fitting straight line, is actually referred to as regression line. And the slope that is calculated in Excel uh, is calculated using least square uh, method okay least squares method uh, 
Uh, we will not go into details of least square methods, but it is used to calculate by equation. It's used to calculate the slope and the intercept using an equation. Okay, that's why if you go to Excel, so for now I have converted my uh, concentration to linear concentration. I can, without drawing, without doing this graph, I can calculate the slope. And I can calculate the intercept just from the given data with the equation of least squares method. So here I will write equal to and then slope. I a slope. And then it tells me put y. Y is this one. And then it tells me put x. X data is this one. And then I will close it. And I will put enter. You will see here. Here, what do you see? Minus 0.24419. اللي هو إيش هذا هو. Minus 0.24419. 19 يعني 2. طيب. Well, intercept C equal to intercept. هاي ال intercept. And then it said tells me. Okay, put your y's. This is my y. طيب. And then put your x. This is my x. And then close. And you will see that this is my intercept. Hey, a nafs hai. 3.1279. طبعا 7.86 بتصير 7.9 here. Okay. Can I do the same here? يعني can I take these? See, I want to put them here. طلعوا. It's different. Why? Because I treated y as concentration directly غلط I cannot use the concentration directly because they will not make a slope and intercept because they are not straight line it will not give me a straight line uh, I hope this is clear uh, to you uh, you can go to uh, the website who will boomer Okay, we'll go to the advanced uh, course. And if you go to the mathematical background, you can see some more examples. I will take one example and uh, we'll try to work it together, inshallah. Okay, we'll go here. Okay, here it says similar graph paper. So I'm gonna have some data, and from this data, we'll 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 uh, use them together in order to have a similar graph paper and make the uh, right answer. Okay, look at the data here. We are going to use similar graph paper together. This is the uh, x-axis from 2 to 10. طبعاً x starts from 0, so it's from 0 to 10. And my y data, the minimum is 2.09. The maximum is 34.74. So how many cycles do I need? In this case, I need two cycles. One, 1 to 10, which will cover these three uh, points, these three points. And then 10 to to cover 17 and 34 okay so what I need now and I will show you I will demonstrate that to you I need uh, two cycles similar graph paper and that's what I'm gonna uh, uh, create now and we will work it together and we will see what is uh, the best option we have this is the uh, graph paper printer uh, okay printer setup I'm going to use uh, uh, PDF, okay, and my abscissa is in metric. I will use one millimeter, but my ordinate, the y-axis, is going to be logarithmic. And how many cycles? I said I need two cycles, okay. Now I will print this one. Okay, I will save it as. 
two cycles okay now this is my uh, graph I will save this graph as a uh, fi uh, figure as or as a, a, a jpg jpeg save as jpeg okay two cycles save them now here we'll do them together okay insert picture two cycles okay this is my uh, graph i will try to enlarge it a little bit okay uh, let me look at the data again this is the data i have i will copy it into the uh, place here okay this is my data now and this is my graph okay for y-axis i don't have any choice i have to write whatever is uh, cycles are given and it will start from one hey one it's already written okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine then one why is giving me one because it depends if i'm gonna start with point one or with ten it depends so i'm gonna change this one and i will put it as ten so this one is ten then twenty is an hundred twenty thirty forty fifty 60, 70, 80, 90, and instead of 100, okay? Type. Then it tells me x-axis is up to 10. Now come here, see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. I have 10 and there are 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's try it. Here, uh, what do I put? Okay, uh, remember that I have to extend my uh, data trying to use most of the uh, uh, x-axis. So here, I will write 0. 0.5. This is 0. 0.5, so this is 1. This is 1. And this is 2. And this is 3. And this is 4. And this is 5, and this is 6, 7, where is 8, 7, uh, it's not clear to me, 8, no, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I, I 9, this is 9, and this is 10. You have to make sure that you are doing it correctly. If it cannot cover the 10, uh, for example, up to 9, then it means everyone here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So at the end, your data must cover more than 50% of uh, the x-axis. That is the uh, uh, normal case, okay? In certain cases, we may cover 50% exactly, but in most cases, we need to cover more than 50% of the uh, uh, axis, okay? 
طيب here we said that we don't have any choice so we put the numbers like what they are now let's see 2 with 34.74 خلينا نشوف 34 نين مع 34.74 اوكي 34.74 هاي 2 هاي 2 هون 2 34 هاي 30 اوكي 34 ايش شوفوا هون 1 2 3 4 5 اوكي وهنا كمان في عندنا 5 فوقها ف here actually is my number my number will be here okay 34.74 طيب the second one four with seventeen point two four. طيب هاي حكينا one two oh no I I did a mistake because this is one انتبهوا okay this is because I don't have the holy graph, I will uh, make it uh, like this. Okay, so actually, my first point, it should be here. Okay, it should be this place. So that's what I'm going to do. One, two, three, four. Now this is two, okay? You have to be accurate. It has to be a little bit below, but I don't have uh, full control, so that's why there might be just a little bit of uh, mistakes. We we'll try to avoid them. So two with 34.74, four ma with 17.4. When four, I have four. 17, 17, 20, between 10 and 20. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, point two, four, yani horn. Okay? See, now we have this point and this point. Type. Then, six with 8.45. Six with 8.45. Six with... 8.45, right? 8, this is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, the, the, here we have 5 divisions only. So each one is like 0.2. And the number that I need is 4, 5. So let me go back to 8. 8. So it should be somewhere here. But let me just make sure that it's six six so it should be here okay okay the other one is eight with four point one seven five eight i'm not sure if it's this which one is eight but let us assume that it is this one eight with ish hakena 8 with 4.175 4 point 17 هذا 1 وهنا 7 okay let's assume that it is this one okay okay and then 10 with 2.09 10 with I 10, 2.09, this is 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, etc. So it's almost here, okay? Okay, so now I have the data points. Okay. Now I will uh, decrease the 
So these are the data points. You see them. Now I want to draw the best fitting straight line. I will attempt to do that and we will see what happens. Uh, of course, this is not the uh, correct one representing, but uh, in any way, okay, we might have some uh, mistakes here because, uh, as I told you, I'm not sure if the distances here are correct. Okay, but let us assume that it is correct. Okay, just for the purpose of explaining it to you. Uh, and here is what we have. Uh, as I told you, it doesn't look correct here. See, the distances here are more than distances here. But anyway, just for the sake of uh, explaining to you, now we need to determine the uh, equation that uh, best fit the line. So we'll say len CP is equal to len CP0. Now assuming, just assuming that 70 is the concentration. So len CP0 will be len 70. So here, what is len 70? Len 70 70 len okay it's uh, 4.248 4.248 type but then the slope now the slope will take this one zero zero taban fill x axis of course with the y1 which will be 4.248 and let us take the last one suppose this is your last one fill line which is uh, 2.1 when a 2.3 is an the concentration that we read is 2.3 phase and i need to know the slope the slope will be equal to what? It's equal to len is 70. Hakena, we agreed it's 70. Len is 70, yes. 4.248 minus len ish, len 2.3. That's what we agreed here. len 2.3 which is 0 0.8329 okay type uh, uh, let us save this one now we'll do the slope the slope is uh, 70 len minus oh sorry it's not 70 first we start with the number we have who len 2.3 minus 70 len it has to be negative see negative and this is divided by 10 and it will give you ish minus 0.08 83 minus 0 0.083 is an minus 
0.083 في التايم This is your uh, equation Again, the numbers might be really far away from uh, the right thing But it is because I'm not applying this شوفوا مثلا 9 8 should be here I think And 9 here So 10 will be somewhere here So this might be a, a mistake But in this case, what do you do with the data in x-axis? Then you have to do 1 for every uh, unit you see here Every distance will be 1 So 1 here will be here 2, 3 and so on uh, anyway, it was just for uh, explanation to you. Now we can actually use the data to make sure that we have done uh, the correct thing. We can go to Excel, okay? I Excel, and we can use the data just to make sure that we are uh, doing the right thing. Insert, again here, uh, graph. You see it's like a curve. I can make it as uh, logarithmic. Scale. I saw in the a logarithmic 1 to 10, 10 to 100, and here I have the time. Now I can ask to add trend line, exponential, and I can display uh, the uh, data on equation. You see here that your uh, intercept is actually almost correct. 70.183. Okay, who will lend is 70.183, which is the same, but the slope looks like very different. Uh, I need to check it out again whether I have applied the correct calculation or not. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do, I will uh, use again here the calculator. We said two, 10 with h 2.3, so 2.3. 3 len minus uh, 70 len equal divided by 10 10 minus 0 ah شايفين okay so it's minus 0.342 minus 0.342 minus شفت في غلط كاين انا مسوي I, I did a mistake which uh, I don't recall which one so minus 0.342 minus point and a minus point three three four two now if you compare this to Excel three minus point three four two it's very close to this one so uh, what we have done is uh, very close to the accurate uh, 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 calculations that you see here. So what we have done in the graph is very close. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this one. Uh, if you have any question, as you know, you can contact me by WhatsApp, by email. You can come and visit my office or we might have a discussion uh, in the lecture time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.